Decent little speed flash for your Canon and your Nikon. Both? I've been looking at getting the backup flash just in case I need to use this Canon at any point for stills with flash, which is an extremely small percentage, but a good pro always has backups for everything. And I've been sent this by Kenro to check out. I think it could be a winner, but we need to get into it. First of all, it's Kenro Speed Flash KFL 101. What's it all about? GN58, auto zoom 18 to 180, adjustable bounce head, 2.3 second recycle, up to 1 8 thousandth, blah, blah, blah. It's got what I would need. Now I have a history of using Nikon's TTL CLS system off camera flash, but with the Canon I haven't needed to because frankly I shoot stills with my Fuji gear, Nissin flashes when needed, when needed. Not that often. This flash works with Canon ETTL and Nikon ITTL. Cracking it open, we've got an instruction manual. We've got a nice little sturdy stand, screw thread mount there. Interestingly, quite a long pouch. On the back, no belt loop, but a little Velcro strappy thing there to put on your bag strap. Pretty useful, although I like a belt loop. I could just put it there with a carabiner to my belt when I'm shooting. Yeah, okay, I can dig that. This is interesting. Zip on the bottom. Nice. You can put your batteries in there, spare batteries. Yeah, and filter there. I often like to put some batteries in there. As that, that's what I'm doing with my Nissan at the moment. But yeah, so that's separate. Interesting, it's a chunky beast. Seems to be a decent quality of plastic on there. Typically, you've got your diffuser, your wide diffuser, and all round, similar to some of Canon's offerings, size-wise similar to some of Nikon's offerings. Not bad. On the back, nice little screen there. Buttons, easy to use. Yep. Looks clear. Lock. That's solid enough. Batteries pop open there. One other thing, and this is important for me for flashes, is if I'm going to bounce, I like to bounce, for example, behind, off to a, an angle, depending upon what I want to bounce off. And this, you'll notice, let me put it into the amateur's position, <laughs> inverted commas. It will take you that way to the back, but also that way as well. So a lot of flashes would stop around there, which if you're shooting back and up a bit, for example, if you're in portrait mode, that works good. You can move it around, you know, shooting forwards. But if you prefer to have the camera held the other way, some flashes don't let you get up there, but obviously this one, turn it around. It's got the flexibility for the head that I want. It's better than some of the Nikons that I used to own, frankly for that. Let's get those batteries in. Here's my little battery tip. Ready Cell Double A's from Home Bargains are very nice. So let's load this up. Nothing to report about the loading. It's as you'd hope for, as you expect. Door nice and solid and let's power it on. You got to hold the thing down. A little bit for me to get my head around there but it's already an ITTL. Throw it on the camera. I can I can illuminate that there, which is nice and handy. I can flick it between manual, ETTL and ITTL. So I'd get that into ETTL for this Canon, for example. Zoom, channels, all the usual stuff you'd expect. That's a nice little feature, lighting up. Not a distracting color, not a bright color, but good enough if you're shooting in a dark environment, in a party, for example, so know it's ready. Actually, it was ready pretty quick. On and off, 
the D-pad right there. Now, I think, frankly, I just want to get out now and just test it out. So, do a few tests and I'll let you know what I think afterwards. Might not be so many sample shots this time. Some boring stuff. I know what I'm looking for. And to all intents and purposes, it's got the build quality that I'd expect. It seems like it should be durable. The head does exactly what I would need it to do. It's a big chunky thing, isn't it? But Canon A to D is not tiny anyway. Just need to get out and test it out, to be honest. It's got the sync modes on the side. I didn't mention that to you. You've got your ports there. Not a big deal to me. Look, I'm looking at this as a backup. If I ever need to throw the Canon A to D into service, for example, if I've been shooting out and about and I've got the Canon A to D in the boot or I've been using it for some video at an event and I just want to get some party stills or something, will this do the job? Let me go and have a look and I'll get back to you at some point, which obviously in this video will be in a minute or two. <laughs> but in real life, it's going to be some days or weeks. <laughs> cool. What's my verdict then? Well, this Kenro Speed Flash, I think will do a good job <laughs> sitting in the boot of the car. Actually, no, tell a lie. I tried it out on this Canon A to D right here and also on this Nikon D500 and it looks like it would do the job, not only as a backup, but if, you know, of course, as is the point with all backup gear, if you put it straight into action, it works a treat. It fits well on both the ATD and the D500, which is clearly a chunkier beast. And it's very easy <laughs> once you get used to the thing, maybe look at that manual, to switch through the modes. For me, I was just mainly interested in checking out the TTL modes and they work nice and straightforward. Obviously, I haven't given you too many samples, but from my little test, you know what we do around the house and that it's nice and easy to use. I can flip between ETTL, master, slave modes at the touch of a button. Nice and simple. Sub 100 pounds, works on a Nikon and a Canon, produces results as expected and is very capable. Feels nice, battery life seems decent gonna give this one a go thumbs up let us know what you think about this flash in the comments below oh by the way in case you're wondering yes <laughs> my car has been cleaned that sandstorm really didn't help me out at all and i only just realized looking back at the video but the point of the video is about the flash not my <laughs> at the time dirty window <laughs> oh well